today is finally the day I am gonna be bleaching my hair today. Um, I've been thinking about going blonde for a few months now, uh, but it's only like two or three nights ago that I was like, I'm gonna do this myself. I just started looking videos online and I was like, this looks so easy. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of how to dye your hair home videos, so I'll link all of those down below. Um, okay, so as you can probably tell, I have lots of gray roots. I haven't dyed my hair in three months, so if I didn't have to worry about my roots, I would just do a balayage. Um, I think it looks really pretty. I really like the look of, you know, darker roots and then lighter hair. But um, I can't really do that because if you think about it, like if I was to dye my roots dark and then do a balayage, then when my roots would start to grow, it will be white, brown, blonde. It's, it's gonna be too much. So I wanna get my base to a lighter color so when my hair grows my gray hair is not as noticeable i've never done this before i'm kind of a little bit nervous but i think it's gonna be fine so i went to a store called eleganza but any like beauty supply store is located in le promenade but there's i'm gonna try to find everything i can you know find online um on amazon.ca and us for all of you it cost me 74 dollars with tax we have a lot of tax here so um but you can definitely do this under $50 because I bought a more expensive bleach and I also got two different toners. The first thing that I got, of course, is some bleach. So I was going to get the L'Oreal bleach that lots of people use, but the girl recommended this one. And this one won't damage your hair as much or it will help to prevent breakage. But this is the jo Joyco Blonde Lightning Powder. Um, it retails for $50 I guess but it was on sale for $38 but I found it on Amazon for $36 I got some uh, developer I saw lots of people uh, bleach their hair with 30 volume which is gonna lift the hair more um, this will only give me one to two level of lift um, levels of lift but since my hair is not like super super healthy the girl recommended I use 20 and you also use 20 volume for the toner. She recommended I use a 10 volume, but I'm not going to do that. Um, so I bought just a little a bottle of 10 volume. This is not going to lift the hair. It's just going to like stabilize or like deposit color. Then I kind of, I really like the look of darker roots, but I wanted my roots to be able to blend better with my gray hair. I really didn't know what kind of color. It's so hard for me to picture what I'm gonna look like with blonde hair. And also, I want my pale skin to look good with my blonde hair. Um, I was kind of blondish before, and I kind of hated it when I was fair because it was not nice. I'll post some pictures here of what it looked like. Um, I think I had this hair color for like two months. I really didn't like it when I was pale. And my goal is I wanna look good when I'm pale with my pale hair. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, so I really didn't know what kind of color I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted a strawberry blonde. I thought this might look good on me with my eyes. Um, because I really like warm tones usually with my eyes, but then when I'm, I don't know. So we're testing this out. I didn't want to be ashy either because I, I didn't want to be ashy because I thought it wouldn't really go with my eyes. So, anyways, I got again from Joico. It was not planned, but this is the Vejo. Uh, kit pack color now these are actual colors um permanent cream color not toners but i don't know so i got um 7b which is a dark beige and i got so this will be for my roots and i got a b medium beige blonde um for the rest of my hair so right now i've been dyeing my hair a level five my roots i was dyeing a level five uh neutral to really be able to cover my gray um and then the rest of my hair is like a five warm and yesterday i kind of wanted to prep my hair for this so i did wash my hair i used the matrix total result the rebond um this is shampoo conditioner and like um this is you put this in before the conditioner i'm not going to talk too much about this but this is really good. I started using this maybe like a month ago and it made my hair feel like I was 17 again <laughs> um, when my hair was like super healthy and nice. Um, I really enjoy this. I'm out of the shampoo now, but I still have the conditioner and um, the like treatment. So I will continue to use those. Um, yeah, this is like supposed to rebound the hair. Really nice if you... Um, if you bleach your hair or process your hair a lot. It says on the box to use 
equal amounts of bleach and developers. Here it is, I'm missing a nail. Okay, so now I'm just gonna section my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair. Okay, let's get started. Just gonna take, I'm gonna start with the bottom actually. And of course, if you were doing a balayage, which I'll probably do eventually when I wanna go a little lighter and I'll film that, um, you would be like teasing the hair and like taking some sections, but I'm just gonna dye the whole, I'm nervous. The consistency is kinda a little thick. Okay, am I really, really going? Okay, let's do it, because if I don't do it now, oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, making sure, I actually prefer to do this with my hands, but it's so funny because usually when I dye my hair dark, I start with my roots. Um, but we are starting with the bottom of my hair. Yeah, just making sure it's saturated. Oh, actually, I think this... Okay, th I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the first one I did already started lifting. Oh my god! So if you're watching this video, maybe it's because you've watched also other like hair dye videos. Um, so Elle Bangs, I don't think that's her name, like I don't think Elle is her name, but anyways, um, she's a, a professional colorist, a blonde specialist, and she was explaining like toners and like how to cut brassiness in hair, and basically to, when you're going blonde, um, you're like stripping color out of your hair. So. Um, as you get lighter, let's say you start from black, um, first you need to get rid of like red and then you need to get rid of orange and then you need to get rid of yellow to achieve a blonde. So basically to go blonde and then use a toner to cut the brassiness, you need to get your hair to a yellow color. have to do another round of bleach so I think I'll do my roots with that other round and I think some parts I'll have to correct what I was recommended to do was um, put a plastic bag on my head okay I mean this is very not the best job ever but I'm just gonna wait Maybe like uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so it's um, my hair feels very warm. So it's uh, 4:40. Ooh, look at that! So it's been an hour since I started the process. Of course, this didn't have as much time to prop. My hair is so freaking warm. Okay, so of course um, this is orange. But see, I have some parts that are kind of looking a little blondish. Of course, I would probably need like a second. But oh, look at that. Like here. <laughs> this is so, <laughs> so flattering. Um, like right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is looking yellow. Which this is what we want. Um, okay, so I am back. <laughs> um, it was kind of a long. I... Well, first I washed and conditioned my hair. Um, if you were to just bleach and then tone, you don't need to condition you because you're going to tone. But I'm going to do another session of bleach. So the majority of my hair is um, orange, which is good. Um, there's a bit of yellow in it um, towards the end and like right here. So I think what happened here um, that was my virgin hair like my virgin brown hair so that lifted very well but then I, I still have some red pieces here because my hair was not all the same color like I still had some darker pieces so 
I will do another round of bleach. I just made some more. So again, for this bleach session, I mean for now, I'm not going to touch my roots. I'm just not going to. And I'm doing a second bleach session just because I use, I use a 20 volume, not a 30. And so I feel like, like it's going to be fine. I'm gonna try to saturate the areas that are darker so here I'm definitely gonna saturate that um, and again as I said I'm not gonna touch my roots okay so this is the hair it's warm um, here, like the bleach is dry, but not here. Almost looks like an. I mean, it's because the the bleach is blue, but it looks like an ashy blonde. <laughs> okay, so my hair is just way too hard, like to move around. Like there's no way I could do my roots. I'll probably leave this leave this on for I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or something. Okay, so um, I put on this ugly shirt. This is usually when I dye my hair brown. Um, it's been 15 minutes um, Yeah, everything is open like the window my other window my door. So probably some noise um, So this is like my bun I put it in the, the bag It's been 15 minutes This is warm. It's crazy how warm it gets And it's like fluffy not fluffy, but like it's squishy It's so weird. It doesn't burn nothing burns. My eyes are fine now so I will just go and take, you know, my shower, wash and condition my hair. I use these here. Um, so that's going to deep condition. And um, I'm just going to do my roots and my toner tomorrow. Hi guys. So this is my hair today. So this is the next day. It's a little later today. Um, I've had like a pretty bad headache all day today and yesterday. <laughs> so there's that it just like yesterday felt like I had been swimming in a pool full of chlorine all day and then today it's just a pretty bad headache so this is the state of my hair so when I was washing my hair yesterday I was like oh my gosh I'm blonde and then when I got out the shower I was like well no <laughs> I am not blonde my hair was like actually a pretty dark color I still had some black spots and so it was expected that I was not going to be like super light so I was able to really condition my hair. I let my hair air dry while I air dry while I was sleeping with lots of oil. So it looks really like messed up, but it's just kind of curly because I slept on it. So yeah, I'm not gonna be the, the level of blonde I I'm kind of going for, but you have to do this in you know it's a process. So um, especially if you are starting with already processed dark hair so um what i actually did today i really didn't know if the the colors i originally bought were gonna work on this hair so basically i was able to like lift my hair to a level seven so the hair color that i originally bought was a level eight and it wouldn't have worked on this level of hair and, and the blue is going to be able to counteract this orange to bleach i'm gonna be using one part of bleach two parts developer i'm still gonna use my 20 volume and i'm just gonna do my roots really quickly i'm actually gonna start with the bottom just because i know my roots are gonna turn much lighter like where i had like virgin hair it's much lighter so i don't want to have like super light roots so i'm actually gonna start with the bottom so if this gets lighter not as bad and if you were to bleach your hair with 30 volume don't use 30 volume on your root scalp because it's going to burn your scalp This is 
the next day. I look awful. Um, this whole thing is driving me a little crazy. I've been watching so many videos about color correcting and all of that. Um, it's driving me a little crazy, so I cannot wait to be done. This is my mixture for my root. Um, so I have a little bit of the light brown and a little... No, I have a majority of this is like a light brown, which is the 6B. The and then I have a little bit of the 7N, which is a, um, it's a, um, a dark blonde. So yeah, let's do this, I guess. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm doing my roots. And I kind of want the, to bring the color down. I think this is gonna be. I'll bring it down a little more. I'm just kind of going like, you know, I'm just doing what I think. As I said, I've never really. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna go a little lower here. So I'm done. Um, it looks hella dark. So here's the back. But I, yeah, I mean, hopefully it's not gonna turn out too dark because I did all this work for nothing. What I didn't show is because I was trying to work really fast. I took the remaining of the 8B in a separate bowl, and so on my very ends, I would apply the 8B, which is the lightest color. So, anyways, a 7 is supposed to be a dark blonde and an 8 medium blonde, so I don't know what this is going to look like. Hi guys, so this is kind of a weird lighting. I'm editing my video and I wanted to do like an outro. I've waited a little while to do this outro, so it's been two weeks today since I colored my hair. I feel like I look like myself like two years ago, it's kind of weird. And yeah, I know like, of course. My brown hair is much better on me, like, I know, but I just wanted to switch it up. I wanted to try something new. And also, something I've been, like, thinking about, like, while I was, you know, going through this whole process with my hair. Hair color to me and, like, hair styling and just makeup and, like, comedy, acting, all of this to me is, like, art. And I think, yes, you can go to school to become a makeup artist. You can go to school to become a comedian. Like, you can go to school for all of these things, but you can also learn by yourself and be the most successful. Now, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not going to open up a salon. But I, I think, I, I mean, I didn't do it terrible. I mean, it looks bad. Like, the color is weird. It looks like a nice caramel color here, but then... In other lightings, it looks like green. In some lightings, it looks yellow. Sometimes it looks straight up orange. I don't know what this is. I had so much fun like learning about color and all of that, like color correction. And it was very interesting for me to like research all of that. Anyways, I have fun. I, I don't wanna take any credit away from professionals. But anyways, um, okay, so where I went wrong. First of all, doing two bleach sessions is definitely not recommended. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend you do two. Wait like a couple of days. Like it's not gonna kill you like to wait. Like I'm super impatient and like impulsive when it comes to things like that. So I didn't want to wait. Um, and my hair was not in the healthiest state possible. I'm boiling some water, so. Um, my hair was not in the healthiest start, like state to begin with. Also I should have put my, my hair in foils. Cause I think, what happened is the bleach like had time to dry on my hair but like the bleach was not done processing and I, I think if the bleach is dry 
it's not processing anymore that means like it's not lifting anymore so I feel like the first time like bleached it I should have just done one bleach session in foils it would have bleached through the full like to its full potential and so yeah I would have done that and then also the colors um the first few days when I realized like what had happened to my hair it was not just the color I hated that was really weird it was the fact that it was hella damaged <laughs> i used to have nice hair okay like i can say it anyways i used to have good hair <laughs> um and you know i've been coloring it and so the past couple of years uh it's not as great i'm thinking about getting a keratin treatment because my hair grows like it grows a lot here but then here like it's been staying the same length for two years yes i know i don't get haircuts it's definitely next thing i'm doing is getting a haircut anyways i'm filming the whole video this video is all over the place i feel like i have so much to say i'm filming right now like a video on how i'm fixing this damaged mess it doesn't look too bad right now because i've been taking really good care of it i used to take my hair for granted i didn't know i used to take my hair for granted so now i mean i learned that i have to take care of my hair so that's what i've been doing um I do think I would like to get a protein ker keratin treatment because my hair is lacking protein right now. It's never been like that before. It feels like wet. Like when it's wet, it feels like spaghetti or like rubber bands. It's the weirdest thing. So there's that. Also, the colors I use, the girls recommended me. I told them how many times I have I like <laughs> told the girls I wanted to bleach and tone my hair. I feel like Tana Mojo bleach and tone. I wanted to tone my hair and they recommended a permanent color cream. Now says in the name it's permanent like they knew i wanted to go lighter like the first girl i talked to she knew like i wanted to go blonde you know and i had to start with like a, a medium dark blonde so anyways i don't know why she recommended a permanent color cream i was really mad when i like realized that when it was already done um hopefully this is gonna fade because then like i want to go lighter so anyways also then like i went back to switch my colors to another place and the girl was like oh the first girl did not recommend the right things but then she also <laughs> did not give me the proper colors i needed a blue base because blue corrects orange i feel like i could have used like a wella t35 toner that has a blue base um I feel like I, I could have saved it but no they recommended me some permanent color cream anyways um so yeah this is where I feel like I went wrong I mean at the end I wasn't really showing you how I was dyeing my hair because honestly I was so fed up I was mad because I knew it was not gonna turn out fine I had a headache it was a lot I had been dyeing my hair for three days <laughs> so um yeah but basically like I'm happy with the way the color is placed you know like I straighten my hair so you can see I don't really like my hair straight usually but this side is not as nice but like this side my hair was already super uneven because the guy that had um, did a color remover on my hair a couple months back it was not even I mean I don't want to blame him because of course like stuff happens but my color was already not even so for me to like do this not bad so um, yeah I just started with the darker color here i then applied the 7n and the 8b here and then towards the very very end i only use the 8b on my ends and like of course the color is weird i don't know what kind of color this is but there's no harsh line um there's not like much like difference between the three shades like i have three colors in my hair but like there's no like gradient really but um yeah my roots already started growing so my hair grows like it grows <laughs> i just need like anyways it's gonna feel really good when i cut here anyways i've been treating my hair really well it's gonna get better but uh yeah <laughs> would i do this again of course i would <laughs> because uh this is how i am um i will go lighter it's just now i don't know like what do i do like do i wait for this color to fade it's not really gonna fade it's a permanent color um Am I gonna have to bleach the whole freaking thing? I don't know. So anyways, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, I might just try a different toner. So my hair looks very different in all sorts of lighting. Right now, it looks like a caramel color. Anyways, this is my hair. Um, do I regret it? Yes and no. I mean, I do regret some parts of it. 
um but yeah if you want to do your hair by yourself i say go go for it that is pretty much it let me know if you like i mean thank you so much for all the sweet comments uh, that i got on my instagram at first like i really hated it i was i really hated it i don't like this but um I'm still kind of uh, like do I want to go to school looking like that like I'm starting school I'm gonna put my hair up but you know uh, in a bad like I think I look cute <laughs> no I'm kidding it makes me look more tan so I do appreciate that um, the tone is awful though so yeah anyways because it looks like a green but anyways I have not used a blue shampoo yet because I wanted to show you the result of the color without and i will actually film a video using the matrix brass off shampoo i'll use that next time i wash my hair so you can see what that does i'm excited to see what it does anyways that is the end of this video if you have any questions let me know down below if you are a professional and want to give me some tips um let me know like the permanent color cream is it gonna go away like what am i gonna do because i don't want to keep this i would like to maybe do my hair in like two to three weeks i feel like i can tough two to three weeks i don't know um so yeah anyways thank you for watching you can subscribe to my channel <laughs> i will definitely bring you along when i change my hair again um you can follow me on instagram at chloe Zidori, and yeah that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon for a new video bye